This is Al Fritz from EarthHealing.info. In the first of our solar series, we talked about the installation of a unit on the church hall. Uh, and now we're going to talk about looking more closely at the monitoring of that system itself. And we'll be talking with uh, Jack Stickney, who is on the parish council of the church. And Jack Stickney from our parish council will explain a little bit about the units that we see here before us. Okay, well, so here we got our photovoltaic system inverter. And uh, this, this was one of the, the, the items that we installed. It came off the original uh, uh, meter here. And, and you can see it's, it's, it's tied into here. And what's interesting about this one, it's a Sunny Boys, the name of the company, SMA. But it, it tells you how much you've generated so far. So if you look here, and, and we have the, the meter and on the Sunny Boy, it shows that we've generated so far, after about two months, 1,128 kilowatt hours. And so that's where we stand right now. This is also tied into uh, the internet. So on a website, we can see what's being generated constantly and what's been generated over the, the period of time that's been in, in production. Yeah, so, so the, the, the Sunny Boy is, 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 is taking the energy and putting it into the system. So it's called net metering. And what we're doing, we're generating the power with these solar panels and then as it's generated it goes into the network the whole system itself called net metering and what happens is over here you can see this is, is, is our meter showing how much we're utilizing how much we're actually using uh, here in these buildings and what here we're seeing this is what we've actually generated so here we are at the website um, that shows what's going on with St. Elizabeth uh, Parish uh, solar panels. Each one of these little squares is uh, represents our solar panel, has a number on it, but you can see right currently, which is what time is it, 11 o'clock-ish today, it, it, that one's producing 25 watts of power. So each one cumulatively is producing right here at uh, uh, 0.75 kilowatt. And it's very cloudy. And it's very cloudy today. And so it's, uh, I, I was looking at this earlier and, and last week there was one day that we, they were producing 200 uh, watts each one. I mean, uh, at the maximum production is 255 watts per panel on these particular um, uh, this array. But then this this uh, uh, screen here shows you kind of where the sun's at. You you can kind of scroll right here, and if we start the day out here, you can see the sun rising, and you can see the the changes in the watts that's being generated as the day goes on. Uh, again, it's kind of cloudy today, so we're not really producing that much power. But on here also, this is the chart mode, and it shows you over here the, uh, uh, what's, what's being produced, instantaneous production. And we can also look at lifetime production for the system here. And we can see here at lifetime of this system, so far we've produced 1,130 kilowatt hours. And uh, Nick tells you that that's the same as 19 trees or saving that many pounds of CO2, or actually kilograms. Okay, so let's go back to the summary, which, which I think is a little more interesting. So we get in this, I mean, excuse me, the chart mode here, and if we go for the daily production, uh, this is in the last week, how much we've produced daily, and you can see the biggest day was January 4th, where we produced uh, 40 uh, kilowatts of energy for the whole day. And what's interesting is that our church, uh, on the average, we use, I'm trying to think, about 32 kilowatt hours of, of power is what we're using. So th of, of this week, this was the only day we produced excess power. Every other day we weren't producing enough to generate the needs of the church. But this is January. This is January. Obviously, and uh, and we have we have uh, not as much sun going on. You know, we only have what do we have? Eight hours, eight nine hours of, of sunlight. Uh, in the summertime, we'll be producing much much more. And and what, what I was just looking here earlier, and let's see what for the last month what we've generated. And you can see every day how much we've generated. Again, we're needing about twenty eight or so kilowatts. So you can see here, there's only. 
four or five days that we produced excess energy in January. And uh, the cloudy days would produce much less. But now this system was designed to average out over the whole year to produce the energy needs for our church. So uh, as, as you add the summer, spring, winter, add it all together, it should produce all of our electrical needs for the church. Okay, here's another graph that it shows on the website you can get to. This one shows hourly uh, production of the array. And this was on January 4th, the real bright day we had. So you can see at 8 o'clock it was producing, you know, a, a half a kilowatt hour, kilowatt hours. And at the peak time, 12 and, and uh, 1 o'clock, it was producing six and a half kilowatt hours. So that, that, that was getting close to peak production for the system. So you can see this was a very sunny, nice day. Again, this is January. In July, it'll be much larger, be producing a larger and probably higher, higher amounts. Again, uh, th this is January 4th, and, th and that was our peak production day. And you can see, again, if we start from the beginning of January 4th, and as the day went on, you can see those solar panels really were kicking in the power. Yeah. And I think the highest amount was like 212 or something. You can see 211 watts, and that's really cranking out the power. For each one of those panels and you can see the sun uh, was pretty much at noon there also but if you carry on the rest Isn't of the day that amazing? you keep can see on that. going oh, where do you what are you hitting over there to make that is isn't that amazing I mean, yeah that's, that's it is really... we have seen how our monitoring works and now we will be watching especially during the summertime when the sun will give us a lot more energy to be used in our church and in that of the whole grid system. Thank you for watching. This is Al Fritz from EarthHealing.info.